let's talk about Minecraft dungeons. I have two people from Mojang over here. Good morning, David, and good morning, Mons. Good morning. Good morning. Nice to meet you guys. So tell me, Minecraft Dungeons is out, but it's not finished. As I understood, there's like a lot more to come. And let's talk about what is happening in Minecraft Dungeons. We released the game in May. And since then, we have released like multiple updates, a big DLC called Jungle Awakens. And we're about to release the 8th of September, a big update called Creeping Winter. Uh, and it also has some really, really cool free things. We had a, a basic variety of merchants in the base game, but we've expanded upon that system and made it uh, a, a lively village of sorts. So you have merchants that trade with luxury goods, that sell you random things, that sell you specific things. Uh, we have merchants that gift wrap things for you so you can trade them and give them to other players. Uh, we have a blacksmith merchant that can take your gear and upgrade it over time so that you can hang on to your favorite items. Um, and and all of that is very exciting to me. I think it, it adds an interesting dimension to the game. Ich habe sie gefragt, was passiert denn in Minecraft Dungeons? Das Spiel ist ja schon raus seit geraumer Zeit. Wir haben es ja auch schon äh, uns genauer angeschaut. Äh, Im September kommt das Creeping Winter Update äh, und das Besondere daran wird eben auch sein, dass nicht nur neue, neue Biome dazukommen und neue Gegner und neue Welten, sondern auch das Dorf abgegradet wird. Das heißt, es wird sehr viel mehr Händler geben, mit denen man mehr interagieren kann. Ja, yeah, the, the merchant part was one of the things I was like, not disappointed, but I was like, I was craving for more in the basic game, you know, like, it, it felt like there's so much more you can do with like the, the village. And, and so are we, right? So this is something that we've focused on, updated and added to. Um, and I'm sure we will keep doing that in the future as well. We're also introducing a feature called Daily Trials, where you can play uh, a version of, of some of the missions on the map every day, and they come with randomized rule sets. So it might be that you have extra pets whenever mm -hmm. you, you play the, the mission, or uh, mobs are enchanted with this specific enchantment. Um, and that just adds an interesting dimension, so you can come back and sort of uh, get a variety of rule sets and combine with the different missions. It, it adds a new way of playing, I think that's very interesting. Mm. Can you do them off, more often or like one, once a day only? Um, you can, so the daily trials, uh, you can only play them once a day, um, but there are um, multiple of them okay. so that there are some for the base levels and some for the DLC missions in the game. Also ein Highlight, was Ihnen besonders gefällt, ist, dass Daily Missions dazukommen, also tägliche Missionen, bei der ihr dann besondere Aufgabenstellungen bekommt, wo sich einzelne Parameter im Spiel ändern, um eben den Widerspielwert höher zu halten. David, what is what is it you looking for in the next coming updates? Uh, yeah, I I really enjoy the daily trials, how they sort of change the game from what uh, the standard mission into something that's quite challenging and fun. Mm. So some of our areas are based in the overworld. It's quite open and there's a lot of distance. And some of these trials, they then replace mobs, perhaps with ranged mobs. So suddenly you have a lot of enemies shooting at you and then you need to figure out a way to survive that. Mm -hmm. So you'll need to change your armor around, equip different enchantments, other artifacts, or perhaps missions that are, are uh, you know, confined spaces in a dungeon. And if there's a lot of creepers there, <laughs> I mean, your normal tactics won't work. Mm -hmm. So you will need to improvise, change, adapt. And every day you log in, will change these rules. So that it'll be like a different setting all mm -hmm. the time. So there will be plenty of New things to try every day. Also David betont auch nochmal, dass es ihm besonders Spaß macht, diese Herausforderungen, die durch diese täglichen Aufgaben dazukommen, dass man eben eine ganz andere Art des Spiels auf einmal dann entdeckt, wenn man äh, vor diesen Herausforderungen steht, die man eben so mit seiner normalen Rüstung oder mit der normalen Spielweise nicht treffen, äh, antreffen würde. Minecraft Dungeons is the first new original Minecraft game after the original Minecraft you guys did at Mojang. Of course we had Minecraft Story Adventure Mode, um, how, why did it take so long to make you guys do something new with the Minecraft formula? I think it's a combination of factors. I mean, it's something that we wanted to do for a while, mm. uh, but we, we wanted to find the right game that felt like a good match, um, something that the team is passionate about doing. And then, of course, we also want to make sure that we can sustain and keep updating uh, yeah. 
the base Minecraft game, um, and and we needed to be in the right place and time to to do this game. Mm. But uh, Minecraft Dungeons doesn't have like the the archetypical features that Minecraft is like known for. Like, how did you come up with that? That no, we don't need crafting and we don't need to build or like destruct something in Minecraft Dungeons. Was that like a big discussion point at your studio? Of course, absolutely it was. And uh, it's uh, something that we're well aware of and we're doing it with purpose, right? Mm -hmm. uh, we want to investigate new ways of playing Minecraft, of, of thinking about the game. And we're thinking about that uh, customization and the player expression a lot in Minecraft Dungeons as well. We've decided to focus that on your character, this idea that you are what you wear, mm -hmm. and, and focusing on that. Minecraft, the, the vanilla game, is such a rich experience, right? You can do almost anything. You probably can do anything. So if we want to do a new game, it should be something a bit different. Mm. And then you need to focus down on some areas of the game, like in our in Dungeons case, that is then the action, the adventure, and the sort of a, a tight, fun combat experience. And then if you focus on one thing, you need to not focus on others. So that's mm -hmm. literally how it came about. And, and also, as Mons mentioned, Mons mentioned, it's literally fueled by passion mm -hmm. from the dev team. Yeah. Let me translate. Um, ich habe sie gefragt, warum sie so lange gebraucht haben, nach dem Original Minecraft ein weiteres Spiel im Minecraft-Universum rauszubringen, das eben auch von Mojang gemacht wird. Und äh, sie haben gesagt, sie wollten halt, sie haben schon lange darüber nachgedacht, was es für eine Art von Spiel wird und wollten es, wenn sie es dann machen, eben auch richtig machen. Und es war halt ein Passion-Project, was dann aus der Leidenschaft heraus, aus einem kleinen Team entstanden ist. Ich habe sie dann noch gefragt, warum in Minecraft Dungeons nicht die typischen Minecraft-Sachen drin sind, wie eben zum Beispiel... Ähm, Sachen craften und äh, Sachen, Blöcke zu zerlegen und sie haben gesagt, das haben sie ganz bewusst mit Absicht so gemacht, weil es eben sich nicht anfühlen sollte wie Minecraft, sondern ein komplett eigenständiges Spiel sein sollte. So tell me, what is some exciting news that uh, Minecraft fans and Minecraft Dungeons players can expect from, from after this update? Right. Um, so I just wanted to mention about this update as well, uh, alongside that free content uh, and in fact some new uh, rewards that you get with the daily trials as well. Um, we're also introducing uh, the paid DLC mm -hmm. part of the Creeping Winter, which includes new mobs, uh, artifacts, gear, uh, and some, some really cool new missions that I think are very fun to play. There, there's like an, it's the Creeping Winter, so it's an ice biome, right? And there is some really, really fun sliding mechanics in there where you slide on the ice. Um, we, we've used that to give the player a bit of a challenge. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm looking and forward for that. And then uh, after that, um, we'll keep updating the game. We have uh, we are currently in the planning stages of several more updates, and we're looking into, uh, for example, experimenting with the idea of the end game. Mm -hmm. uh, what sort of things can we add to add more challenge at the very end of the game for those who have reached uh, Apocalypse Seven, which mm -hmm. is currently there. <lacht> Gut, ich habe sie gefragt, was jetzt nach diesem Update kommt. Sie haben noch erklärt, dass eben die kostenlosen Updates jetzt kommen mit diesen Daily Quests und aber auch eben neue Bosse, neue Herausforderungen mit dem bezahlten DLC. Und sie arbeiten natürlich im Hintergrund auch schon fleißig an weiteren Updates, weiteren Missionen. Und das wird dann in Zukunft auch bald kommen. Und sie arbeiten dann eben dort auch am Endgame. It's always like a big spectrum, like um, people, like families and kids playing the game, but also like hardcore Diablo fans who, who fell in love with this game. So I, I think that's a tough challenge for you guys to meet all those uh, fandoms. Yeah, it, it certainly can be. Uh, and we're, we're, we're doing our best. Yeah. Then um, it was great talking to you guys. We're almost out of time. Um, thank you for coming to the Gamescom stream. And uh, I hope we see each other uh, next year at Cologne at Gamescom. Oh, you likewise. You and I'd also like to suggest one thing. Mm -hmm. If you want to learn more details about what's in the store in the future for Minecraft Dungeons, it's a lot of cool stuff. Uh, do have a look at Minecraft Live later this fall. We will do that. Thank you guys and greetings to Sweden and the whole team at Mojang. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye bye.